today is Thursday, and as you can see, I did not get the engine out on Tuesday, as I had expected. I am, God, I am not even into this project, but 20-30%, and I'm already not enthusiastic about taking video. But I will do it for you, because I love you. I do. Anyhow, uh, the main culprit, I have a uh, backup. So I have the exhaust off, the drive shaft off, all of the underbody shielding off. That was done two weeks ago, three weeks ago. This last Tuesday, when I had expected to get the engine out, I was only able to disconnect the fuel lines, most of the transmission. Oh, crap. I haven't even gotten to the air conditioner compressor. Yeah, that's where I am. Not very far. I'm... I'm pretty much exactly where I was the last time I made a video. So, you haven't missed anything. You're welcome. Let me introduce you to the BMW Bitch Cliff. It goes like so. And clips down over the top of the transmission like so. I need more light. So do I. Is that too much light? Oh yeah, it's totally washed out. Wish I had a friend. Friends are nice. Friends hold things. <sighs> Anyhow, can you see now? Yes, you can. Good enough. So, this is the bitch clip. It is a fairly clever little method of holding the shifter assembly on. However, when you're trying to get this out from under the car, ah, yeah, as you can see it, it engages pretty tightly on top of the transmission. So when you're under the car trying to reach your hand up and over and get to it, it's, well, it's earned its name. I'll put it that way. And I spent easily 45 minutes the other day underneath the car trying to get it undone. What I did was I went out to one of the auto parts stores and bought this handy little gadget right here. It's called a hose removal tool. The only way I can see it being used for that is like if you want to rip the stupid thing in half. Anyhow, it makes an absolute fantastic tool for releasing that clip. It's just the right size, shape, rigidity. Ah, what took me 45 minutes unsuccessfully the other day I managed to do in 45 seconds. So, onward and upward. Hmm, that looks promising, doesn't it? Well, upon closer inspection, it's time for Today I Learned. Today I learned that the hook on the front of the M20 that looks like it's for lifting the engine, that everybody seems to lift the engine by, is not actually structural and you can't no you you can't do that timing belt looks good distributor and such uh, not so much what a freaking nightmare and a half holy crap so the first attachment point broke and so i grabbed onto the only other thing I could, which was that alternator bracket right there, and as you can see, yeah, that's that's not a that's not a cromulent lifting point either. Um, I wound up getting the engine about halfway out before I saw exactly how far that was bending, and I finally just got smart wrapped a chain around one of the motor mounts all the way up over the top and back down. I couldn't reach the other motor mount and that was honestly a little bit too low for my tastes anyway, but I got it around the exhaust manifold and I mean for one I'm glad I'm not reusing this engine. Not that I've caused a lot of damage to it, but I'd just be super pissed at how much extra work I made for myself. Either way, 
it's out and as you can see let me pan back a little bit dolly back that attachment point that i chose is is yeah it's center of mass right over the center of mass the, there's no other attachment points here so that's hanging that's hanging really well i mean when you're dumb you got to be smart you know what i'm saying <laughs>